Shannon Newson is a former evangelical missionary from Houston, Texas. Newson completed an Orthodox conversion and lives in the Judean Hills of Israel. While in America, she worked in the counter-missionary field for three years and then as the North American Liaison for Jewish Israel, an organization dedicated to researching and raising awareness of missionary activity in Israel and abroad. Today, Shannon refers to herself as a missionary awareness consultant and continues to work with the Jewish organizations and leadership on how to establish interfaith relationships while maintaining the integrity of our Jewish identity. Welcome, my dear sister. It's a pleasure to have you on. What's going on right now in Israel that we need to know about? We are super excited about having Gabriel Sanders here in Israel with us. He's going to be speaking on Thursday night. If uh, you're familiar with the area, it's just down the street from the Imbal Hotel. It's called the Pinsker Shul. Um, So if any of your listeners are in Israel right now, this is something they should definitely make it out to. The title of his lecture is going to be Inside the Missionary Mind. Um, are your your listeners are familiar with Gabriel because he's he's on your show, right? Absolutely, he is a fantastic Hebrew teacher, uh, and we he uses his Hebrew uh, in it with with the combined efforts of explaining Torah throughout the Tanakh, the prophets and everything, in such a way it is just absolutely amazing. It's It's been so helpful. The feedback he has received from the shows that he does here is incredibly enormous, and I, I'm just, I'm so proud of him and, and the work that he's doing here. He's awesome. I don't, I don't know if your listeners know Gabriel's background and how he got to where he is today. That is an amazing story in itself, which I think we're going to hear a little bit about on Thursday night. Um, no, he's here in Israel just visiting right now, but Gabriel is actually very familiar with Israel because he lived here for many years, but not as a Jew. Um, Gabriel's years living here were as a zealous missionary. He worked as a missionary in Kibbutzim up in the north, which him and his wife happen to be there today. They're traveling around, and he's visiting all the kibbutzim that he used to work um, at as a missionary, which I'm sure that uh, is a whirlwind of, of emotions for him right now because uh, for people like you and me and Gabrielle, mm-hmm. I'm sure you would agree that it's it's sometimes difficult to look back on that life. It is, but you know, for him, I think that makes his testimony so much more powerful uh, because oftentimes people will look at uh, someone who was was never in the Christian at all, and they they can seriously say, "Well, you just don't understand." Well, this guy does. He's been there for he was there for many years, and he knows he he knows. I got your I got your name in my mind, news and <laughs> anyway, he knows so much, and he's so good at what he does. And man, I, I just wished I had a, just a glimpse of the knowledge this guy has is absolutely amazing and so this lecture is going to be uh, really filled with a lot of different things you want to kind of highlight that for us um well he's uh because of his his lifestyle before he he comes to israel and he can speak as a missionary i've been there i've done that i i know the missionary mind this is what i've done um and he was he was unfortunately very successful, which which is why I refer to it as as looking back at with uh, with a lot of pain. Um, right. You know, Gabriel talks about the time when he was missionizing. He was kicked out of a kibbutz. He was blacklisted by the Israel Interior Ministry. Um, he was considered a danger to the Jewish people and was not allowed to enter the state of Israel for quite some time. He uh, he was so effective, um, and we know that he's made quite the turnaround. And uh, that's probably something your viewers are also familiar with. Um, he's also a, he's a quality individual. He's like one of the most quality individuals you'll ever meet. He approaches everything, um, even the most difficult issues, like a mensch. He's everything's in a very grounded manner, and he's he's a real pleasure to get to know. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a live broadcast that night. It's again it's Thursday night. Um, we might have to be a little bit of flexible with the with the trap with the traffic situation and, and weather going on in Israel. We might have to be a little bit flexible with the time. Um, it's going to start at 7 p.m. Israel time, which is 11 a.m. Central time. Am I right? That sounds right. Mm-hmm. So if if you're in Israel, do not sit at home and watch the live broadcast. The admission is free. Come out and meet Gabrielle in person. Introduce yourself. Shake his hand. You won't regret it. You, you really got to come out and see him. 
Absolutely. I'm very excited. And thank you so much for, uh, for helping all this happen. This is, this is going to be great. And uh, we'll, we'll do our part as best we can to make sure once it does happen uh, that everybody has access to it at some point. So uh, we'll see how, you, how it all works out. So, Shannon, thank you so great. much. I really appreciate your time. And we'll see you guys later. Take care, everybody. Shalom, shalom. Thank you, William. You're very welcome. Take care. Bye-bye.